You can get the <laughs> yeah, recording, by the way. Like, whoa, do, do the cyclone <laughs> fountain. <laughs> Welcome back, Tri-Faction. JP here with today's review, the CYMA M14. That's right, M14, we have like 12 of these now. No, it's all good. This thing is, uh, is awesome. Um, we just got done shooting it, and it is uh, a beast of a gun. And just off the bat, you can see it's in that OD green. Really nice. And you can get it in uh, black and uh, the wood, uh, the mock or imitation uh, wood furniture as well. So you do have a couple options. They have like a SOCOM version. There's a few different versions that you can get. But right off the bat here, so um, all the ODs part, this is all going to be your polycarbonate. And then you have your metal where metal is normally going to be for an M14. Um, so you're basically looking at just your upper receiver, bolt assembly, all that jazz is going to be um, all that metal. And then you also have a, uh, a cover here that's going to be plastic. So that's just going to be there for extra looks. And then you also have a functioning bolt catch, which is cool, part of that bolt assembly. You can push it back, perfect. And then it all has a locking mechanism. If you push it back like this, you have a button right here. Push that down, and it locks that bolt. And then you just have to push back on it. It releases it just like that. It's beautiful. Now you also have two metal sling points here. You have one on the front, one on the rear. So for any of those two point slings, perfect or a single point sling if that's uh, what your preference is. Uh, you have a perfectly rounded trigger guard here with a trigger guard safety. So it works out very well. And then you have your standard M14 mag, mag release there. And speaking of the mag well, we have the standard pop up there for the M14s. Although this thing out of the box was shooting amazing. So I didn't even have to tweak the hop up at all. So that's was, that was awesome. Uh, now also you have your standard style M14 fire selector here. So this is on semi, twist it all the way around, lock it full, and then back over to semi. And then obviously you have your safety with that, uh, that trick guard safety there. there so you do have your standard um, M14 style iron sights. They remind me of the M1 Garand. Um, awful like Call of Duty. <laughs> so uh, that's going to be standard on this one and it's very accurate. You can see perfectly in it. So that's awesome. Now, if that's not your preference, you do have on this side uh, the ability to, there's a, there's a screw hole right here. You can also take this off and have an additional support beam here, but it allows for additional rail um, that you can attach, which doesn't come with the gun, of course. But if that's something that you wanted to do, add a scope to it, then uh, you can get that adapter and then throw a scope on it as well. So the internal on this thing, so you have a version seven um, gearbox on here, the CYMA, CYMA version gearbox, and it's compatible with all aftermarket uh, TM parts, which is awesome. So if you wanted to really turn this thing into you know, a ridiculous sniper, you can, because um, it's compatible with all those aftermarket parts. So that's really cool. And it is wired to the rear here. Uh, right there, you got your little pressure points there. You pull that out, boom, it's small to Maya. It's fairly standard nowadays, and that's pretty basic. You got a lot of room in there, so you can fit 11.1, which this can take, either 11.1 or 7.4, so you can throw that in the stock. All right, so inside here we have the uh, version 7 CYMA gearbox, full metal, and fully compatible with all TM parts. So you can upgrade this thing as much as you want to fit your personal preference, uh, which is awesome, very versatile. It's also wired to the rear with the small Tamiya. You have a little cover here, helps cover that battery area. But it goes right here, you just pinch these out, pull it out, got your battery compartment. It's pretty good size. Um, it recommends a 9.6 battery, but of course we threw an 11.1 in there because it can handle that and it was shooting great. So that's uh, uh, also something that's fairly versatile is the type of battery you can use. So as you can see, it's a fairly long rifle. Uh, it's 44.3 inches long. So getting close to four feet, which is pretty, I mean, it's pretty standard for an M14 style, especially if it's a DMR styled weapon, which it is. So that's not too bad. It's running at about 8.8 .8 pounds, pretty heavy. But if you have the sling, should be a lot less weight or strain on your arms. And then with the inner barrel being about 19.6 inches long, so very long inner barrel. As for the mags for this M14, you have your standard style um, M14 mags, both mid cap and high cap that you can use um, from either the Matrix or TM uh, brands. Those two I know for sure will work with this. So that's gonna be fairly easy to find and they're fairly cheap um, on the market as well. Um, as for the barrel, I know I said it was about 19.6 inches, so that comes out to about 500 millimeters. Uh, just for you guys, because most things are for millimeters when it comes to inner barrels. 
Um, but let's go over to the range test and you'll see how good this shoots because of that long barrel as well as uh, some RPS for you. So hang tight, we'll be right back with you. Good. All right, guys, so this thing, like I said, is shooting amazing. Um, as for accuracy, you really can't get much better than this. PS-wise, when we did it with the Chrono with .2s, um, that was shooting right around 360, 370-ish or so. so. Overall, the gun is shooting great. It's shooting like 14 rounds a second, which is awesome for a DMR style, but if you're wanting to get that distance and that power, you're gonna most likely be held to a semi anyway, but that's always good to have just in case you didn't want to upgrade it, you can shoot it as is, full auto most of the time, with any field that you might play at. So overall, this gun is, it's badass, man. I love it, I have one myself. We got it in our uh, Golden Clover, I think is what it's called, yeah, Golden Clover Edition BOA from St. Patrick's Day. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But as always, guys, we appreciate your support, all of our patrons, all of our viewers. As always, go out and get them.